In this video, I wanna show you how to create this. To create this, we used a new zoom out feature on Mid Journey version 5.2. I also like to use ChatGPT to create the prompts, and we will also need a video editing software. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is start over on ChatGPT to create the prompts for Mid Journey. So I'm just going to go in here. I have ChatGPT Plus. You can just use 3.5 if you want that. Then I'm going to head over to my website where I have a prompt for this. The first prompt I want to do is take my Master Mid Journey 5.2 prompt. So I'm just going to copy all of this, head back to ChatGPT, right? And we're just going to paste this in and hit submit. Hopefully we just get something called a red here now and we are ready to move on. Yeah, then I go back to my website again because I have a second prompt. So this is the Mid Journey 5.2 Zoom Out prompt. So I'm gonna copy all of this to head back to ChatGPT, right? Paste in this prompt, click Submit. Let me just quickly go through the prompts. So the first prompt we put in was just basically explaining to ChatGPT what Mid Journey is, what the newest version 5.2 is, and I gave it some six examples of image prompts I really like. And then I move on to the second, that is the zoom out prompt. So we go great. Here is what we are gonna do today. We're gonna zoom out of an image two times with the same prompt two times. But I need the next image to change. A great example of a prompt sequence like this is. And here I list a prompt sequence where I zoom out and I change the theme for each each scene, right? So you can see we go Lord of the Rings landscape, Lord of the Rings creatures, Moria cave, Moria cave depths. You get the point. We go to Rivendale, we back out of a doorway. This is kind of like a sequence. And uh, we go down here to your task is to get a super intriguing, interesting prompt sequence like the one above. Keep the prompts very simple. We can change styles and theme along the way. Start with the prompt. And here is where I put in my starting prompt, right? And I just uh, remember we back up, zoom out and just click submit. And then we get this sequence here where we can just put in our prompt. So we start with this prompt, right? Before I show you how we can use this on Mid Journey, let's take a look at today's sponsor, Brilliant. What I love about Brilliant is their learn by doing approach. It's not just about passive learning, it's about engaging, understanding and mastering new skills quickly. Especially in a field as dynamic as AI, this hands-on style is a game changer. Now, if you love a challenge like I do, you want to try Brilliant's computer science puzzles and even the more advanced ones. These aren't just run-of-the-mill puzzles, they push you to think, analyze and solve like a true techie. Brilliant also has this super cool course called Thinking in Code that really dives deep into programming. It's like having your own personal learning coach to navigate the complex world of AI and tech. So, want to get a head start in AI? Hop over to Brilliant.org, the first 200 of you who sign up using the link in the description or by going to Brilliant.org slash AllAboutAI will get a 20% discount of their annual premium subscription. Plus, you will get a 30-day trial absolutely free. Alright folks, stay sharp, keep learning and remember, the future is for those who do. So let's do this with Brilliant. Okay, so we're just gonna start with the top prompt here because we need a starting point. So let me just copy that, go back to my journey, slash imagine, paste in our prompt and hit enter. Okay, so I like the one in the left corner here, this one. So I'm just gonna go here, click on upscale number three, and then we get this image. But now we just wanna zoom out two times. So we're just gonna click on that, zoom out two times. Okay, so you can see we zoomed out here. I like number one here, so I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna click on upscale one. And again, I'm gonna zoom out one more time, two times. Again, we are more zoomed out now, so I wanna continue with number one here. So I'm just gonna click upscale one. But now we are gonna change it up a bit. Now we're gonna go back to ChatGPT. We're gonna pick our next prompt here in line and copy that. But now we are gonna click on custom zoom here. So when we get this up, I'm just gonna remove everything apart from the last zoom two part, paste in our prompt. So now we got a whole different prompt, just we left the zoom out two part, click submit. And here you can see the image totally changes, right? So we are in this grand ballroom. So I think I kind of like the one on the top right corner here. So I'm gonna pick that. I'm just gonna click on upscale two. And again, we wanna zoom out a couple of times before we move on to our next prompt. Okay, so after zooming out two to three more times and adding our third prompt, we end up with kind of this. 
So we are in like a European city now. I don't know how quickly that changed. But it's kind of cool. Like you can see here we started out with basically this. And we went to kind of this. But now we ended up in here. But you can still see like in the all the way in the middle here. You can kind of still see our original girl sitting on the bed, right? So I think that's quite cool. Uh, the last part we have to do now is go to our video editing software and put all of this together in like a seamless string. So we get this very cool effect. So I have this example for you here. So basically here I have put in 26 different images that I have zoomed out right. And I put number one here, two, three. So basically after you have done the first two the job is quite simple. So what I do I just select my first image right so you can see this is the first image we have so when i'm just gonna select this here in premiere pro i'm gonna click on scale and i'm gonna set the scale here to 200 right so we zoom in a bit and then we back all the way up to the end of the image i'm gonna click scale again and i'm gonna set it to 100 okay so that's a good start that's always how i start this but when we move on to our second image now you can kind of see it's quite seamless so the way we do this is kind of reverse the operation. We start this image right on 200. So that is basically how we started the first image too. So it goes from 200 to 100. Then since this is already two times zoom in. We can just continue on being zoomed in twice to 200. And this is going to make like this. You can see this kind of this seamless part. So you can see it's kind of just going from 100 to 200, from 200 to 100. And it's just going to scale kind of indefinitely. Uh, but you can see this is kind of slow, right? So what I like to do is uh, take all my images. In, this is in Adobe Premiere Pro. Select everything. Click on right click. Uh, nest. And I'm just going to nest all these frames. Right click. Speed. So I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to speed it up 600 times or 6 times, 600%. Click enter. And now you can see we have much higher speed. So it gives this more seamless effect, right? So I think that's quite cool. Uh, but I also wanted when it comes to the end, I want to stop and go back. So how we do this is we just copy the part we have here now and paste it. Then we're going to select it. So we're going to click speed duration again. But now we're going to click on reverse. And I like to amp it up to 1000. So a bit faster the other way. Okay. So put this together again. And let's watch the final part here. So you can see we zoom out. Okay, reach end. And then we boom, zoom back again to our starting point. But this time a bit faster. And yeah. That is basically how I do this. It's quite simple. It's very cool if you add some music. I guess this prompt were kind of maybe not the most interesting one. But uh, I think it's quite easy to do. You can do it with tons of different prompts. And the cool thing is that you can scale it indefinitely it doesn't really stop so you can see like we zoom out you can create you can change team you can do cartoons you can do everything you want right so it's very cool i really enjoy this effect uh yeah i think that's it for this tutorial uh, if you have any questions just leave them in the comments and yeah give me a like on this video if you think this was helpful and i'll see you again soon